Did you know? done it without me.
take some pictures? tell you? Long story short, the underground used to have many mines. However, in recent years, some sort of corrosion called the Fragmentum started to spread. It's ruined a lot of mines. The one we're heading into is relatively unaffected. A bunch of vagrants made it their home after their old turf was consumed by the Fragmentum. Actually, most of them are pretty honest folks. But with such a large group, it's inevitable that troublemakers will find their way in. They've been stealing stuff from the miners and picking fights. And that's not the worst of it. Things are much more serious this time. For two days now, huge clashes have been breaking out between the miners and the vagrants. It isn't pretty. Mines are our lifelines in the underworld. We have to keep providing Geomero to the overworld in exchange for supplies. In order to quell the situation, Chief Oleg brought wildfire into the mine and left me in charge of security for the towns. But the situation in the mine is critical. I have to back him up. Oh, as for you, the Chief will decide your fate when we see him. Good. I've been wanting to come face to face with the leader of the underworld. <laughs> You're about to come face to face with reality. Uh huh? Isn't that the doctor lady? What's Natasha doing here? Things must be worse than I thought. <laughs> Nat, I didn't think you'd be here. Where's Oleg? Hey, Zila and Sampo's guests. So it looks like you've already met. I haven't seen Oleg. The miners said they saw him take a group further in. Miners and their family members. They want an explanation from the instigators. This area up ahead is a vagrant dwelling, but they've sealed off the entrance. I guess they're afraid that angry miners might try to take revenge. <sighs> I heard that many were injured in the clashes, so I hurried over here to see if I could help. How could the situation here become such a mess? I heard that first mining team found a geomarrow vein with incredible deposits. The initial estimate put it at the largest discovery in the last 30 years. Are you serious? That's big news! How come I never heard about it? Well, they weren't in a hurry to make it known. <laughs> Most of the mines have been contaminated by the Fragmentum. Many people are out of work. They were afraid of being overwhelmed if they let the word out. But the vagrants here have keen eyes. They couldn't keep it hidden from them. Some local gangs wanted to profit from the situation, so they blackmailed the mining team for hush money. And that was the final straw. <sighs> I can understand your thinking. It's just that the underground is in difficult straits. And that's how the clash started. Now both sides are dealing with heavy losses. So, are you guys here to help resolve the conflict? They're here because they need a favor from Chief Oleg. I'm escorting them. And seeing as you need that helping hand, it wouldn't be too much to ask you to lend one here first, right? Of course we want to help. We care about other people too, you know. Oh. 
That's quite nice of you. <laughs> I believe we're dealing with kind-hearted people here, Zila. As you've all seen, the situation down here is, um, strained. If you can, we would really appreciate you helping the people. giant ore vein, the one they discovered. That must be where the clashes are centered. Come on, let's get to higher ground and take a look. That person up ahead, is he asleep? Let's head up and take a look. He might need help. in a place like this. Impressive. Hey, wakey, wakey. You'll get mushrooms growing on your head. Hmm. Uh -huh. Mushroom bread? I can't see it on the menu. Huh? Miss Have you got a death wish or something? How can you sleep here? Get back to safety and take shelter. Take shelter? I remember now. These guys came out of nowhere and got into a fight with the mining team. At the time, I was exhausted. I'd hardly run a few feet when one of them caught me. If it weren't for wildfire, they'd have stolen the clothes off my back. Uh, further in, I guess. Those thugs took control of the vein ages ago, and they're fully armed. We poor, defenseless, good folks were no match for them. It's only thanks to wildfire that the Great Mine hasn't fallen into their hands completely. It seems like Chief Oleg must be up ahead. Hurry up and get back to safety. Look for Nat. And try not to get into another scrap along the way. Okay. Thank you for, um, getting me on my feet. If I get back soon enough, I'll have time for a, for a nap. Woman. 
That's Elaine from First Mining Team. Quick. Elaine! Are you okay? Are you hurt? Uh, Zila, thank goodness. I I'm fine. Just a couple of sprains. You've got good timing. Those vagrants were asking me about the robots, but I don't know anything. Oh, don't you know? The intersection of the Great Mine has been seized by a band of robots. Neither the mining team nor the vagrants can get anywhere near. The new challengers enter! About time! Human-only conflicts are so boring! Does anyone know where the robots come from? <sighs> At first, we thought that a collective fault had occurred in the excavation machines. But then we found out that those machines didn't even belong to the mining team. They came out of nowhere and pushed the vagrants and us back. Then they blocked off the only tunnels into the intersection. <laughs> There's no way anyone in the mining team is behind this. Operating a single unit is tiring enough, but a whole group? <laughs> Impossible. Then there's only one possibility. Boss Svarog. Svarog? That name sounds familiar. <sighs> you remember the robots we defeated in the boxing gym? Oh, Boss Svarog's robots! What's his deal? Let's just say he's not to be trifled with. Let's go and find some other people. Elaine, can you make it back to safety? No problem. Zila and the rest of you, be careful. Robots aligned against humans? I've never heard of such a thing. Machines should obey humans unconditionally. Is this elevator broken? Why isn't it r responding? Why are you worried about this piece of junk? Do you really want to go down there and be a live target for the robots? But if we evacuate, then haven't we lost out? <sighs> you idiots, we'll just steal off the miners. Look, I saw with my own eyes. They managed to bag some Geomara. This is a perfect opportunity. Oh, uh, good idea. Shameless. Still after the miners, are you? Time to teach you a lesson. Fighting is meaningless. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! This ends here. <laughs> Fleeing at the first sign of danger. That's all they're good for. Huh? What's this? Did those guys leave it behind? Whoa! whoa! What the heck? Searching for potential user. Beep, beep, beep! Voice print detected. Looking up corresponding identity information. Oh my, it's an alien! Hey, it talks! And it knows that we aren't from this planet? It doesn't seem to be technology from here. Look, it even has an International Peace Corporation logo on it. Perhaps it's an antiquity left behind by some past interstellar traveler. Beep, beep. Beep. Your mom's an antiquity. Beep, beep, beep! Whatever, whatever. So you aliens know about the Inter-Astral Peace Corporation? That's great! Beep, beep, beep! Self-introduction. I am Richard, the home use object finder. Model information. Version 0 0.63. Professional model. Annual deluxe package. Nickname, Findy. A home use object finder? Who knew the IPC made these kinds of products? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is damaged. Please send me to an inter-astral peace appliances retail store near you for free repair within the warranty period of 232 years, 84 days. Beep, beep, beep. Alien, please take me 
to an inter-astral peace appliances retail store to conduct repairs. What? This spell is already broken. What should we do? Take it with us? Beep, beep, beep! Yes, yes, yes! When you need to find something you can't see, just call upon Findy! That's me! to repent. Let's go. This ends here. No interest in conflict. My turn. Let's make it quick. This ends here. Too late to repent.
Too late to repent. Told you I could fight. In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters. Watch this awesome move. This sanctuary is but a vision. You couldn't have done it without me. What's that commotion? It sounds like there's a big argument happening. Let's get closer and take a look. Ah, cowards and bullies. I don't remember you guys acting this tough around Svarog's minions. <laughs> Did your parents never teach you what a backbone was? <laughs> we ain't stupid. Why would we risk our lives against the robots? And get off the high road. You can't just find a huge chunk of Geomero and hog it all to yourselves. This mine is our territory. The mining team is laboring here day in and day out. You guys don't even pretend like you're here to lend a hand. You're lazy. All you want is to profit off our sweat and tears. You don't even try hiding it. Disgrace. Where does disgrace come into it when we can't even fill our stomachs, huh? I know your game. You're just waiting for us to starve to death so there's more food for your mining team. It's a waste of time trying to reason with you. While you've been kicking up this fuss, the whole vein's been seized by robots. Now we're all in the same boat. <laughs> right, right. We can't rely on the vein anymore. But don't forget which side brought loaded guns to the party. Whoa, easy. What are you trying to pull off? I'm warning you, wildfire are in the area. <laughs> Empty threat. <laughs> wildfire are stuck dealing with Sparag's minions. How are they gonna help you now? Unless you're planning on taking a bullet. Hand over the supplies and equipment. They're getting ready to attack. Those miners are unarmed. You shameless scoundrels! I'm going too. We can't let these thugs get away with whatever they like. Aha! And who do we have here? Do you know whose territory this is? Shut it. This isn't your territory. I'm in a hurry. I'll take you all in one go. Hope you're prepared. Rules are made to be broken. This ends here. <sighs> oh, Zila, thank goodness you came. We were nearly, uh. <laughs> Nothing but a few knuckleheads. I'm just glad you're okay. Antonia, have you seen Chief Oleg? Oleg? He took a group into the intersection. Said it was to clear off the invading robots. They've been gone for a while now. <laughs> if Wildfire was around, those thugs wouldn't have dared. Seems like the core of this problem is Svarog's robots. Your run-of-the-mill robots don't have a will of their own. Their aim is merely Svarog's aim. The boss... He appeared suddenly after the guards were redeployed and became a major player in the underworld. Svarog claims to be a guardian of humanity, while the ownerless robots obey his commands. They've occupied the Furnace Core hub, and they're not letting anyone get close. 
Nobody knows why Svarog did any of this. He usually doesn't leave the Furnace Core and interfere unless some kind of disorder breaks out in the underworld. Wait, a guardian of humanity? That can command robots? No, I've never heard of anything like... <laughs> Looks like your mighty architects weren't as all-knowing as you thought. Can you two say anything without quarreling? This isn't the time! <sighs> it sounds like there's danger waiting for us in the intersection. Can we still get through? Yeah, we still need to talk with the Chief. It's only a bunch of scrap metal. What are we afraid of? Oh, is Zila starting to appreciate our strength? <laughs> I'll be honest. You guys are hardworking. If everyone from Wildfire were as impressive as you on the battlefield, we wouldn't be so hard-pressed by Svarog. Antonia, can you take the mining team back through the entrance to meet up with Natasha? <laughs> sure thing. But uh, be careful. There are a lot of robots up ahead. <laughs> <laughs>